for first match come ahead. We got white belt, no key under 70 match. First person to engage XL Jiu Jitsu, Adam Harrison. Okay, next to the cage, representing markets in our BDP, 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 start, one match on the card guys under 70 kilo white belt match Adam Harrison against Zach Logan both guys like to tie up here so yeah first match Zach Logan Adam Harrison, Adam Harrison of XL Jiu Jitsu uh, under Cal Pacino, and Zach under Marcus Nardini, MMBJJ. So Adam did a good job there, top half guard, put a lot of pressure. Cross face strong, looking for that. Yeah, trying to force that pass. One thing you'll notice with Zach, as I said, Zach. Uh, um, been doing jiu-jitsu for a, a good while now as they're very very kind of agile from the bottom um richard dixon's cousin right okay so we were hoping to see richard dixon here today but he's not made it so yeah there's zach just retaining guard there quite happy to to play about in his guard just now see if he can find anything That's the thing, Zach's got quite long legs, so obviously, again, you'll know, Calm over the years, I mean, rolling with somebody with long legs is an absolute nightmare at times. Yeah, yeah, especially when he's playing that high guard, attacking um, that high guard, looking for arm bars, triangles. Um, maybe we're going to have to start trying something different here, though, maybe he's open the guard up, feet in the hips, and maybe framing it back to his feet. He's done a lot of defending, a lot of defending, so... He's going to need to start attacking at some point. Um, Adam as well. I mean, under under Carl at Exile, Exile, uh, obviously not long been set up. Um, oh. oh, good triangle attempt there. Nice guard retention as well. Yeah, Carl had set up Exile Jiu Jitsu, and that's the the team's been going really, really well. Yeah, do a lot of wrestling. Uh, obviously, a lot of Jiu Jitsu, a lot of submission grappling, uh, both gi and no gi. So. Um, it's definitely building a, a, a really, really good team down there in the northeast. England. Yeah. Well, it's interesting to see with the with the use of the cage as well. We'll see that over over the course of the day, guys. Being able to shoot the doubles against the cage might make it easier to get the takedowns rather than open mat stuff where guys can sprawl and and uh, get their frames a bit easier. Are you a fan of that using the cage? Um, yeah, I've not seen much of the straight grappling uh, yeah. in the cage, but I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how these guys use the cage um, to their advantage. It could be a huge advantage um, if you're good with your cage control. So Adam just trying to, uh, trying to pass guard there, yeah. but I see Zach doing really, really well. And kind of hold them into the half guard there. Zach looked like he was, he was going to attack a leg. Yep. Yeah. Trying to come up on the single leg X. That's the thing. I've been at some shows where they don't allow the use of the cage. Um, yeah. And it kind of it, it breaks the match up because every time they get near the cage, the referee has to reset them, bring them back to the middle. Yeah. Whereas obviously here at Goliath, they're just going to let them go. So is that going to leg here? Yeah. Adam looked to clear that knee line. Oh. Still I don't think it will empty you look in the yeah. white belt. Will they? they need to be a straight foot lock. Be careful. I 
think they did have the rules meeting earlier, so yeah. they, they obviously know they can't do any heel hooks. Footwalk, state footwalk was fine, but definitely heel hooks and so on, knee bars, definitely out of the question. Still got a good bite on that leg as well. Cross face is heavy from Adam, preventing them from getting under, underneath him. Preventing Zach from getting underneath and getting back attacking that leg. Zach's just trying to get underneath. Is that cross face that's stopping him right now? It's like it's giving him the problem. See, he's shooting that underhook with his left arm. Um, so he's come through on the he's on this side here. But again, obviously that cross face, as I said, he's, yeah, that's preventing him from going from the underhook. Yeah. And I think that's going to allow Adam to get the pass. So I should get the Yeah. See what he can do from here. Going to see Adam really, really strong in this position here. Um, I'd say the XL um, are known for uh, the kind of pressure. Yeah. The wrestling, the grappling is unbelievable. Seems to get grabbed so. that arm, perhaps an arm bar. Oh. Back to it. A nice grip for that wrist. Good job from that there. That arm free. Going to attack the leg again. Nice. Nice. Oh. He's got that leg hook, so he's stopping Adam from, from kind of trying to turn into him. Yeah. Trying to turn his uh, bottom half his body. Yeah. He's kind of stuck here, Adam. Again, that cross face is giving him problems. Heavy shoulder pressure from Adam. Again, is not giving up on the leg. Is it looking for Cameron? They're looking for it looks to me like uh, Adam the pass. He's just like to stay enjoy. He's got an arm triangle locked up here. He's gonna at least take the back from here. Throw that first two again. So in oh. regards to like the distance, if we go the distance, oh. yeah. So that looks nice control. Exactly. Yeah, very, very very there, so. Excellent transition. Yeah, of course, the distance. What, what are they looking for? Submission attempts, positional dominance. For me, it's, um, it's a bit of everything. Yeah. But, um, you can just get a take down and just sit the car on top of the full match. But to be active, actually, to finish your opponent, same with the guy in the bottom. I, mean, I would say you can still win from the bottom if yeah. your guard's attacking and, and you're at least looking for the submission attempt. It just really goes on to finish the three. Yeah, he gets closer to finishing the thing. So you've got to think at the moment, the way Adam's just had the more control over Zach. Um, Zach's had a couple of good attempts with his legs. That arm's in a horrible way. It's just. Oh, yeah, Adam Paris there with a win. On Adam Harrison. That was a good back and forth match there. Um, Adam getting the submission by what looked like an Americana from Mount. Good 
great match from both guys. Yeah, good work. Thank you. 